Well, you know when you're playing a musketeer that facial hair's involved. We've all grown beards, um, apart from the king, he doesn't have one. Uh, D'Artagnan's done his level best, bless him. But he's got little bits of bum fluff all over. I don't have as much facial hair as the other boys. Um, my facial hair doesn't grow quick enough to get that. You know, so it's kind of like, it's still quite baby hairy. When I had the hair extensions, they were down to here, and I looked like I was in a cult, because I was also wearing one of those weird robes they put on you in a hairdresser, so it looked very wrong, and I was a bit alarmed. I looked a bit like um, Grunewald's uh, Portrait of Christ. We were very lucky with the facial hair on the main guys, purely because um, you quite often get someone with quite patchy growth. All of them were able to grow a healthy stubble at least. Just a few, we had to have facial hair attached, but I won't tell you who because obviously you're supposed to go unnoticed. I had a huge, huge, huge beard when I, when I arrived. We wanted like a bushy kind of Shakespearean beard almost, you know, and, and very, very pointy. So, so it wasn't just like, it was kind of coming down and almost like a knife point. The director, he came with a great big bushy beard, a bit sort of David Bellamy, Guapo, Mi uh, but he's fashioned his as well to a nice little pointy number. I always end up growing a beard for a shoot because you get up too early in the morning to, to fit in a shave, so, you know, I'd rather just get a couple more minutes sleep than actually have to shave. And so the makeup ladies were always badgering me, when am I going to get a, you know, a beard cut like one of the musketeers? And one lunchtime they, they collared me and dragged me into the makeup trailer. So yeah, I've got a musketeer beard now. I'm thinking of chopping this off and, and making a feather out of it and wearing an earring with, a, with, with the end of my goatee.